It is no secret that China is expanding its financial reach around the globe. And in the United Arab Emirates, it is finding open arms. John Defterios takes us to the World Government Summit, where multi-billion dollar deals are born. Big deals, big agendas. An annual event to talk innovation and technology to spark growth. And the United Arab Emirates started with the two largest emerging markets. It is not easy to do this project. According to the chairman of one of the biggest conglomerates in the Gulf, cracking China was a major milestone. They accepted us as partner with them in business, and they appreciate our quality, and they appreciate our understanding, because transparency in business is the most important. Trade between China and the UAE is forecasted to hit $70 billion by 2020. And with India, it's expected to exceed $100 billion in the same time frame, pursuing projects in trade, energy, and infrastructure. It all started in 2008, when Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, visited China, followed seven years later by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi to strengthen ties. Still bearing fruit, the Chinese shipping giant, Costco, is opening a new terminal spending over $300 million at Abu Dhabi's industrial zone, all part of the ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. India was the focus of last year's World Government Summit. Substantial deals have been made, including state oil giants Adnoc and Saudi Aramco, investing $44 billion into a refinery in India, part of a wider strategy between the UAE and Saudi Arabia for oil and gas. And the fact that we both joining hands, complementing each other, uh, building on their strengths and them building on our strengths will allow for us to be even a more uh, of a powerhouse catering for uh, meeting uh, the global energy requirements. The UAE is a country home to less than 10 million people and is clearly focused on harnessing the growth and investment of the world's two largest emerging markets. John Defterius, CNN Business, Dubai. It's been 40 years since Iran.